Hello, in this video, I have Diane C. Diane C in Great League, the mythical from Go Fast, Global Go Fast. Carbink is a better Pokemon for Great League. Similar, similar type, same typing, similar Pokemon, but I have chosen to use Diane C because I do not have the XLs or a very good. Highly ranked Carbink. I also got Shiny Metacham and Gligar. Definitely should be uh, covering my water weakness. But I use this team. Get some good battles. Definitely lose to Azumarill, which you will see. Well, you may not see, but Azumarill is a nightmare against my team composition. Able to resist all the the moves I have, pretty much. The dig gets shielded, but they're shieldless with their Steelix now. Breaking swipe, that's no problem. But they catch they dig on a Gligar. So that is a fantastic play by them. Now I'm just gonna go for the Moonblast with Diancy. I need to do the damage against Gligar. I get the attack drop, nice. And I am comfortable not shielding. I survive. But I have a shield still. And Dig is not going to stop this. Breaking Swipe is not going to stop Dig. From getting the knockout. Now up next we have a Tentacruel lead. Okay, that is definitely not a great matchup. Going to bring in... Lego, and it's definitely going to be a skull, which did a lot of damage, but they bring in a Medicham. Going to just Aerial Ace. I need to do that, the damage. I need to take this thing out if I want to win. And I get a shield. We have traded shields. And now at this point, I can bring in Diancy. And I can farm them down, not letting them get to move. Now Rock Slide, it will do good damage. Gets a shield. I bring in my Medicham. I'm going to say I need Diancy to be able to deal with something in the back. And it's a, it's a knockdown. That would be an amazing alignment if I could get my Diancy up against this owl. But I'm going to need enough energy to, to land the rock slide on the tentacool. And I farm them down. And I get to rock slide for the win. Now up next is this Galarian Stunfisk. It has been nerfed with its the earthquake does less damage. Did I catch an earthquake? No, I did not. It's a rock slide. Does a good chunk of damage. Definitely not the matchup I wanted, but I don't want them swapping out to something to count on my Metacham. I just felt Gligo would be better. I do shield. Oh, it's a Shadow Machamp. Well, this, this Machamp, unless it has... Unless it shields up all the moves, it's done. Now, with no shields in play for them, I can protect my Gligar. But I just make a silly mistake. Instead of going straight for the dig, I thought they didn't have the energy. But now I'm forced to use Metacham, which is fine. It can handle this Stunfisk. And in the back, a Sableye. Time to moon blast the Sableye to Kingdom Come for the win. That was a very satisfying move to land. Walvane doing good good damage and they bring an Obscune that gets countered by Metacham and they waste all their energy. Should have thrown something, but they have a Wigglytuff that is going to counter my Metacham right away. It's going to chunk away at my 
name my Pokemon I have because I have no Steagle types. I choose to bring in Diancie. Gonna throw right away to put pressure on the shield. And I'm going to shield myself so I can farm them down and have a rock slide ready to take the win. Yeah, I got a move ready. Get shielded up. And rock slide for the win. Taking out a wall lane. Shadow Gardevoir. That is a heavy hitter. It does a lot of damage. I'm definitely going to be trying it out for rotation. But this time, I bring in Gligar to counter them. Take them out. They did so much damage with Charm. And a Shadow Hypno. Hard hitting Pokemon with Confusion. Thankfully, I have lots of energy to throw Aerial Aces. Let that Thunder Punch go. I can't get to another Aeoli Ace. Otherwise, that would have been awesome. I bring in Metacham. I need to hope I can take the last Pokemon out with Diancie. I take out the Hypno. And this Machamp is Shadow Machamp. Let's see what my Diancie does. It gets to the Moonblast for the knockout. They wanted to save that energy, but they needed to throw right away to take me out. Now, Talonflame. Amazing matchup. They're going to save that energy for later. I decided to throw the Rock Slide and Swamp. Could have saved the energy, but I do get a shield, which is good. And Metacham, I, I choose to shield up. Straight away, just keep that health high. And that's the third weather ball they're getting to, because that is a fast, fast spammy Pokemon. Just going to throw the Ice Punches and counter. Ice Punch ready for the Town Flame they bring in. And I am fine with them taking me out, because I have Diancie to, to take them out. Now I have a shield of peace. They have a Polito to be to be brought back. And they are going to get my last shield. But they have an Altaria in the back. That is just toast. Gain the last shield. And Gligar has what it takes to just survive the moves. Throw enough aerial aces to take them out. That sky attack did not do enough to get, take them to get the win for them. Now we have a carbink. The better the better rock fairy type. But I don't have the XLs or a good enough one that I want to power up. So I'm using Diancy. And I will shield that rock slide. And they bring in a superior that gets countered by Gligar. The incredible, greatly Gligar. With Aerilis and Dig to buff moves this season. And then to get to one more move, I want to keep alignment so I use my last shield. Now, shieldless, how do I take out the two shields in the last Pokemon? I get one shield there, I farm down, I get to air relays to get some damage. They do take me out, but Metachamp comes in and I swap in to throw the box slide and they realize they lost. Now we have a Pelipper, this bird, a very annoying Pokemon with its weather ball spam. They get to the move before I throw the rock slide. That is A-OK. -okay. I consider undercharging, just letting it go. Gets shielded up anyway. Because I have another weather ball ready. And swap into double. This pure normal type gets shredded by the counter. 
but they are going to be releasing the energy. It's not payback, but it's wild charge. And without any shields, that does big damage. They have their own Metacham. Going to get the Psychic through. And I'm going to have to trust Gallego to absorb all these moves. Just a pin cushion this battle. But Dancy is going to get the farm down. And survive the ice punch. And then it's going to clean up the Pelipper for the win. Now up next follows a Stunfisk. A Larian Stunfisk. Pokemon that's been nerfed but is still incredible. That is too fast for an earthquake thankfully. But Rock Slide does a good chunk. And I catch that next Rock Slide on Gligar. And Gligar is going to be able to threaten him with Dig. Although the energy and the damage that the Stunfisk has already done is worrying. I really don't want to be going down to zero shields with that alignment. So one more Dig and then Galaga must go. But that Dig lands and I have decided to use my last shield and I get alignment. They still have a shield. But it's a Trevenant. It's a tree. That's weak to the Aerial Aces. Diancy comes in to throw the box slide. They either let this tree go or their shields are gone. And I farm them down. All that energy wasted. And a Polyrath in the back will not be able to take this Psychic from Metacham. Even after the nerf, Psychic will still take that Polyrath out. Now we got a Shadow Hitmonchan. So I got to go, go, go into Metacham. They have a Nocturne to bring in. That Nocturne is not that scary this season as last season. But with that fast move, it will still do good damage. I let that sky attack go. Almost takes me out, but I get one more. Ice Punch and Gligar is ready to battle this Dragonite. Great League Dragonite don't see that often. They don't want to be going up against my Dancy. I'm going to enforce a shield. I'm going to use that Aerial Ace. And I'm going to bring in the Diancy to clean this battle up. Going to commit my last shield. And I should have thrown the Rock Slide earlier. But Gligar has what it takes to farm them down with Wing Attack. Now... Absolute nightmare lead up against a Registeel. I bring in the Galaga, able to absorb those sap cannons. But let's see what they bring in. They bring in a Mandibuzz. Okay, after the attack drop, I'm not going to be able to do as much damage. It's going to be a long journey taking out this Mandibuzz. I need lots and lots of aerial aces. But I do have a Diancy to counter. And after Gligar has done his job, Diancy will be able to clean this bird, this vulture up. I now bring in Metacham to counter this Registeel. Zap Cannon, even after attack drop, not to void. I'm going to finally shield up a move. Now, let's see what is next. Polyrath. Going to be swapping and getting rid of my attack drops. Not yet. Because they bring in the bird. They bring in the bird. I bring in my Diancy to form them down. Going to throw the Moonblast. 
and I have a psychic bank. And as you know from this video, psychic will take out this polywrath. They can scold me however many times they want, but they can't take a psychic. And that is how I end this video with the win. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.